guys so today I am doing a video as you can probably tell from the background it is an Audi cookware haul so we have wanted to get some more cookware um, for our kitchen because basically with Slimming World you're cooking a lot of stuff from scratch and we don't have any sort of casserole dishes or um, Dutch ovens or anything like that so we really wanted to get some that um, also look nice in the kitchen because I want everything to be sort of aesthetically pleasing as well um, and so we have been looking around I did and Paul really like the uh, Le Creuset set but they are just so expensive it's really hard to justify spending that much money and I looked at the Pro Cook ones but they didn't grab me in the same way as the Le Creuset um, so when we found out that Audi were bringing out again, um, I think it's once every year they do this, were bringing their cast iron set back out, we thought that we just had to um, get them. So we have almost everything in the range. Um, there was only a couple of things that we didn't go for, such as the mini Dutch ovens and um, the mini griddle um, because I wanted all the colours to match and we also have um, little individual pots already if we want to do any of the um, individual things um, but every piece that we really wanted we got. Um, the other couple of bits that we didn't get were um, the little tea and coffee pot things because I keep our tea and coffee pots in the cupboard so it doesn't really make sense um, to buy matching ones that you're not going to see. If we decided um, that we were going to have the tea and coffee pots back out on display then I probably would buy the purple ones to go with everything. So yeah I'm going to show you all the different items then over on my blog I'm going to put some suggestions on what you might use the different pots for and um, yeah, so as we go along, I will just give you an idea of what each item cost and also what it what the corresponding item would be from Le Creuset or from Pro Cook. So yeah, let's get into it. So I'm gonna do a bit a couple of the extra bits first. Um so these were some oven gloves. So these are the silicone ones. So the whole brand is by a company called Kirkton House. Um, so as you can see these were 6 99 but they are super thick they have a cotton lining um, and yeah they're just really really thick and good quality and all of this cast iron wear is super heavy um, and that's when it's empty so once it's got actual food and stock and all sorts of stuff in it I should imagine they are a lot more heavy so yeah we got some good quality oven gloves and obviously they all match as well um, so I know 6 99 sounds like quite a lot for oven gloves but um, when you've invested on a set like this you want to make sure that you are um, not going to drop them <laughs> or do anything silly like that. So I don't know if you know if you have cast iron pots and pans um, you do need to have either silicone or wooden utensils so we got the set that they come with so that comes with a slotted turner so these are silicone heads with bamboo handles. So a slotted turner, spatula, spoon and slotted spoon. So we've got all four of those. Um, I don't know off the top of my head what the price is so I'll put the price over here so that you can see that. The next thing that I got, um, it doesn't exactly colour match the rest of it but it does go um, because it's sort of a similar range. So this is a utensil pot and this is or utensil jar. So this is sort of to put things like that in and easy access things that you want to get but it looks really really pretty um, and if you can see the pattern. So it's like a neutral, it's a nude colour. Again I'll put the price up here for you. The next item are the stoneware mugs, so that's these. I'm just going to get one out for you so that you can see. These are quite big mugs, so they've got the gradients on them that all of the stoneware and the um, cast iron stuff has. So these are stoneware. So as it says on the top, these are dishwasher and microwave safe. So now we'll go on to the first of our cast iron set. So as you can see from the front, this is a cast iron skillet. So these are um, enamel coated, oven safe and easy to clean. You can use them in a conventional oven, um, gas, electric, glass ceramic hobs, halogen hobs and induction hobs. So they are safe for all of those. 
each one comes with a care label so it tells you how to use it um, how to take care of it afterwards and then this is what it looks like so just like La Creuset you have the Kirkton House emblem on the back um, you've got the handy handle there then you've got this these do come so that you can hang them up but they are very heavy so I probably wouldn't recommend um, hanging them up I also like that they have black on the inside um, I just think it's a nice touch I think it goes well with the plum so this cast iron skillet cost in Audi 14.99 if you were to get it from La Creuset, it would have been 119 or 125 and in Procook it would have been £78. What I'm going to do is to save you um, having to watch the whole thing, I'm going to unbox the items and show them to you unboxed. I'll be back in a second. So this one is the cast iron griddle. I love that they have on each side that they have these little spouts. So if you're cooking meat or something like that and you want to run, or vegetables indeed, and you want to run off the juices, then you can do that. Um, so this was in Audi, sorry my notes are here. Um, this in Audi was 14.99. In Le Creuset it would have been 125. And in Procook it would have been 59.99. That's what this one looks like. And again, on the bottom, you have it embossed in there. So this is the 26 centimetre shallow casserole dish. Um, again, Kirkton House on the back. Um, I love how they come with the little um, rubber parts to sort of protect it in the packaging. And this is the lid. And I love how it's you've got the gold against the plum. I really love how that sort of how that looks so if I show you that's what it looks like here and like this from the side and it just feels such really good quality so this is the 26 centimeter shallow casserole dish so that in Audi was 19.99 which would be 210 pounds in La Creuset and 119 119 in Procook. This is the 32 centimeter shallow casserole dish. So this is what they would say is for a family. So the other one would have been for a couple. So this is for a family. So again you've got Kirkton House on the bottom and then this one is really heavy. <laughs> then you have Again, the lid on the top. I'm just going to zoom that in so you can, I don't know if you can see. So that is the 32 centimetre one. That's what it's like. So again, in Aldi, that was 24.99. It would have been 240 in Le Creuset and 119 in Procook. So this is the one I like to call the Big Daddy. So this is the 28 centimetre, 5.3 litre casserole dish. This is what it looks like with the lid on. It's so beautiful. Um, you really can't see how lovely it is. I'm hoping when I put all the items into the kitchen, you will see. This is so well made and such good quality. Um, really, really love the whole set. But this is, this is impressive. If you had this in the middle of your dining table with um, whatever you've chosen to cook in it, that would look amazing. So in Aldi, this is the, um, this is 24 99 So that'll be £260 in La Creuset and £129 in Procook. So this is the cast iron roaster. So this is 40 centimetres. Again, it has the Kirkton House in the bottom. It has a 4.8 litre capacity. But again, look at the quality of the handles. That just shows you there how good quality this stuff is. So this was 19.99, and that would have been 180 pounds in Le Creuset, and I couldn't find a similar item in Procook. So really, really lovely looking last but not least we have the griddle tray 
This is 39.5 centimetres. It has a 1.5 litre capacity. So this would be great um, for lots of different things. Um, roasting vegetables, for example, would be really, really good on this. Um, anything that you sort of, you don't need a lot of juice or, or anything like that in. But again, you've got the lovely, char these will make those lovely charcoal marks on. Um, so, so this was 14.99 in Audi, so that would be £125 in La Creuset and £59 in Pro. So, um, just totalling that up, but bearing in mind that with Procook they didn't have the roaster, looking at the other products I would have said that that would have been around £50. So in total, um, not counting like the utensils and bisque like that, so just the cast iron stuff, um, in total in Audi it was £138.92. In Le Creuset, that would have been £1,495, which is a saving of £1,356.08. And with Procook, it would have been £669, um, which is a saving of £530.08. But if we take into account the £50 that we think the roaster would have cut would have cost it would have been 580 pounds now both pro cook and le creuset are absolutely brilliant brands um but obviously they are a, a lot more expensive and audi are known for matching quality um of other brands so this is why we really wanted to try it because it was a lot more budget friendly they look the part they've got the the enameling they've got the really strong handles and and well-made um lids and all of that stuff and they look amazing too hi guys so i have just put the um stuff away i'm not sure whether i'm going to keep them where they are now um, but i wanted to show you them outside of their packaging and not sort of just holding them up um please excuse the noise in the background that is my washing machine so i'm just going to turn you around so that you can see so you can see all of them here if i move back a bit you can see them on the shelf and then that's some saucepans up at the top um, that we have but i'm not sure whether we're, i'm going to keep them all like this or not so you can see this is the what I called the big daddy so that's the big um, casserole dish the larger or family size shallow casserole dish the two-person casserole dish the roaster with the griddle tray then um, you've got the skillet and then the griddle pan up there but what I also love is that they come with these rubber um, clips if I show you on this one they go all on all four sides and what it does is it stops if you can see there you can just about see the gap it stops the two um, sort of sealed edges the black edges rubbing together which is obviously that's part of a sealant so it will last much longer like that so you know if you were taking pictures or something um, you might take them off but I thought this was a really handy um, good thing to have so now you can see the gradient a little bit more. So you can see it goes from a light purple to a dark purple. I really love these, um, these knobs that are on top. And I just think they look lovely in the kitchen. I still have to sort out bits. So I've got stuff charging and things down there in the air fryer. Some more of um, saucepans and stuff. But all in all, I think... That looks really nice. So over on my blog, I'm going to do some recipes and give you some ideas on what you can use these for. I'll also pour, put the um, first use and care instructions over there for you. So yeah, thank you very much for watching guys. Please like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye.